Cleo. Dylan. Miriam. Miriam? Miriam who? Miriam Turner. No, sorry, I don't recall. Dylan. <laughs> How did you find me, you old <laughs> goat? No, Holby's rubbish. I hate the city. It's all pushing and pulling and doors. She seems to be misled, frankly, Arthur. She seems to be under the misguided belief that I would find life here dull. <laughs> dull? Two years without any of that nonsense. No thoracotomy, no pneumothorax, no tracheotomy. What could be dull about that? <laughs> Shut up. I like sheep. What? Sheep. We're on a level. Don't do the Sudoku. I'm saving it. I'll try to restrain myself. So I think I can manage. Dill. Don't call me Sam. Yeah, it's very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, You did test for C. diff, didn't you? Didn't you? Did you? Didn't you? Hello, Smelly. Um, just checking in. Um, hope you got the dinner I left out for you. Uh, don't eat it all at once. I know what your table manners are like. OK, um, I'll see you later. Love you. Is that mate? <laughs> there you are. Smelly right, nurse, query appendicitis. I want bloods and an MSU right away. Please, my behind the word is please. I think you'll find the word is bloods. Lovely, don't know if I do. Oi! Perhaps next time I might suggest using a kettle. Newfangled device that I've recently discovered. Not my fault, I'm afraid. I was taken hostage. I'm being serious. So am I. What's wrong with you? Considering a career change. Did you have anything in mind? Yes. Deep sea Arctic trawler fishing. Yeah, Why is everybody on. in this place so obsessed with talking? It's like one big episode of loose women. That um, uniformed police officer down there, uh, the one with the injured arm, take a look, tell me what you think. I think you could do better. Poppy's not in the pub. New colleague. I, I called Alan, he said it's New just... Adam. Dylan! Did I ever tell you about my son, Dr. Hannah? I didn't know you had a son. No, there's a lot you don't know about me. You don't say. Have you ever witnessed a case of acute panautonomic neuropathy? Dylan, I, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Did he survive? Bobby was about the same age as the lad you've got in there. He was, he was a little fighter. Oh, you need help. Really? Zoe! Zoe! Hi, this is Zoe. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Zoe, it's Dylan. Again, call me. Hi, this is Zoe. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you. You are there, aren't you? You are there! message and I'll get back to you. How dare you? You've switched me off! How dare you switch me off! But at least I don't appear to be suffering from trimethylaminuria. Differential diagnosis of motor neuropathy? The polyneuropathy of acute porphyria is often mistaken for Guillain-Barre. Common things are common. He doesn't have it either. It's related to the accident. Google it, you moron! Thank you. I'm quite capable of leaving on my own. Shoes on, woman. This is a place of work. Excuse me? Come on. Let's go. But no one would listen. It, because nothing quite says listen so much as kicking back with a magazine in the middle of a busy shift. Did you want to say thank you, Dylan? Thank you, Dylan. 
Oh, well, see, I can't remember, right? But it is, it's on the tip of my tongue. Is it spittle? Did you know that regular alcohol abuse can result in seriously impaired judgment? Hi. No. What? No. You've got three spare beds? No. I suppose it's sexual favours out of the question. What's that got? Send me something unusual. Mystery allergy, tropical illness, maybe a fungus. If I do that? One bed. So can you please be nice to him? One is a sick one, right? No, I don't know. Which one am I being nice to? Both. Isn't there another doctor you could have got to have done this? They're all busy. Hello. Welcome to Holby ED, a magical pleasure dome of rainbows and leprechauns. When did Annie last pass a stool? When did she last have a poo? Uh, three, four days. Right. And is I the know what constant a stool is. or in waves? Hello, can you speak English? Excuse me? Constant or waves? Uh, waves. Waves, excellent. Pinch me. Go on. Damn it, I thought I was dreaming. Right. Is this an accident or an emergency? Wh no, it is neither. Dr. Keel? You need to give Annie another look. Unless she was hit by a bus on the way to see her GP, I don't think so. She reported a sharp, repetitive, colicky pain, so I palpated her abdomen. And? And I think I found a mass. You're sure it wasn't a rib? Dr. Keo. Please. I've got my hands full here. I'll put her into a spare bed. No, 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 no. Nurse Stefani, hang on. Treated an alcoholic priest once who swallowed his crucifix, and pulled the chain back up and ripped out his vocal cords. What could it be? Tumour. Let me know when the x-ray comes back. He was joking. Rapunzel syndrome? Fairy tale princess? Lives in a tower, lets down her hair to the prince. I, I think what Annie probably has inside her is um, a trichopozoa. It's a, a, a mass of hair ow, knotted ow, together ow, like ow. this, like a rope. Sorry. Well, is this good news? Good? It's, it's fabulous. Yeah, but what does this mean for Annie? Oh, she'll have to go to surgery to have it removed. I'll, I'll go and tell them now. They're going to love this. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. They love me. Yeah, what about me? Sorry? Well, if it wasn't for me, you'd still be poking Annie's stomach. You found the straw. I turned it to gold. Sure, it's not a rib. Everyone. Hey, I'm talking. CDU. These last few days, he's been getting used as a patient dump. The golden rule is, unless it's something really interesting, do not darken my door. Thank you. Dylan. Do you have a list of what you count as really interesting, just to help us poor simpletons out? Oh, uh, Dr. Keogh. Don't no. get in my way, and we'll be fine. Do you have any friends? I have a friend. The imaginary type? No, she's real. She? She? <laughs> For some unimaginable reason, I thought any friends you'd have would have to be some geeky bloke. I wouldn't let Dervler overhear you saying that. She can be quite the bitch. Bitch? You talk about your dog, aren't you? She's the lady. Hmm. Does that make you the tramp? What's your name? Doctor. Doctor who? <laughs> Please do not call me that. Well, you don't look the maternal type. What does that mean? I just thought it was perfectly obvious what I meant. I ain't got home. Right, that's supposed to, what, make me go a weepy? No. Right, is there a hostel you can go to? If there's spaces, maybe. Then do that, and don't think because I ask that I give a damn. <laughs> Give me a blood sample. You missed something. <laughs> like what? I'll give you five seconds to work it out. Five? If you have something to say, then Hypert say tension, it. Hypertension, tachycardia, confusion. It's when to being a clown fall under your job Three. description. Dr. Keo, I have a patient here. One. Cyanide poisoning. There's a trail of yoghurt all the way to here, mm -hmm. so the thief's in CDU. Right, I'll call security. Hi, security. Yes, CDU here. Um, got a couple of lunatics masquerading as members of staff. Could I have them removed, please? Come on. Hold on, they're leaving. Scrap that. Thank you. Why do you need me to tell you that? I thought you knew everything. No, just everything worth knowing. You punched your weight by a lemonade or something. <sighs> you don't know anything about me. I could be a murderer or anything. Are you? Only when somebody really annoys me. You should have come before we got in the car. You are a liar. Dylan! What happened to you yesterday? If you want me to save your life, you're going to have to tell me. Or don't tell me, and you'll die. I told you I've got mug. I'd say you've got until about two o'clock. That's enough, Dr Keogh. I prefer to solve the situation on my own. To be fair, I am normally spectacularly good at it. On this occasion, it seems 
That was not the case. I just... I don't like them very much. Patients, I don't know. I don't... Dr. Keogh. Neil. No. Thank you, Nigel. It's no. I'll offer you out for a drink, but we both know we'd end in sex. <laughs> How about we just start off as friends, yeah? With the possibility of sex later on. Oh, of course. Oh, does that mean I get to go in this? Well, I, I have to really like a woman. Shame. Awesome air conditioning system. I can tell, clearly. One day. Hmm? Oh, see you tomorrow, then. Can't wait. Stop waggling. Stop looking. It's not that. It's, it's to do with... With what? With the fact that we all know that your husband used to beat you up. <sighs> Most underrated drug, caffeine. Should be class A, class B at the very least. I want to be treated by Dr Truman. And I'd like Beyonce to give me a booty call, but it ain't gonna happen. Wants to be treated by you because you're his special friend. What about me? I'm a priority and I'm sitting here like a lemon. Oh, I'm talking to you. We could be dying here. I've yet to meet a dying woman who yabbers as much as you. Why, well, if I got a green one and he's got a red one? I got a red one. He has a pneumothorax. You just have verbal diarrhea. Capiche? <laughs>